He has no horses. He throws all of his money at the racetrack. But he's got an eye for the Phillies. Robbie really likes young girls. So we found him a pretty pony. You have a driver's license. You're too old for him. And it was off to the races. I went with a, you know, a few hundred bucks, and I realized I only had eight bucks left. After he cashes in on a sure thing. He has crawl, crawled in the bed. What? And she picks a winner, too. He looks oh, yeah. like a Malibu Ken doll. Will they have a change of heart? What? change of heart. Let's meet today's couple. Now, he's an avid surfer. She's a professional figure skater. And one day, while hanging 10, he spotted her figure in a pink bikini. Well, he washed ashore. He broke the ice. And what began as a friendship has now spun into an eighth-month triple sow cow. Please welcome Robbie Talstra and Jennifer Lyles. Welcome to the show. Jennifer, let me start with you. How would you characterize your relationship with Robbie? Oh, it's good. Um, we start off as really good friends first, good foundation, um, kind of like a Jerry and Elaine kind of situation on Seinfeld. Right? Yeah, very Robbie's good. Robbie's like, okay. We make each other laugh. Really so, lights it up. And Robbie, what is it you like most about Jennifer? Well, she's got a great head on her shoulders. She's a really smart girl. Um, she's sexy. I mean, be able to look at her. She's sure, like, no yeah. argument there. And she's just a genuine girl. She's a great girl. So this all this all works good. Now, Jennifer, what about Robbie when it comes to the libido that bothers you? Uh, Robbie uh -oh. really likes young girls. Um, he, I would say he's the biggest cradle robber, the biggest cradle really? robber I've ever met. I'm the youngest girl he's well, ever gone out with. I'm, I'm, the, oldest, than me. I'm the oldest girl he's ever gone out with. And You're I'm the oldest. Years, and I'm eight years younger than he is, so that should tell you something oh, right now. Uh, Robbie! <laughs> Now, Robbie, what about the biggest obstacle in the relationship for you? Well, uh, she's uh, never, ever horny. <laughs> never? <laughs> Jennifer? She's just not a very sexual, passionate girl. I mean, she just, I have to instigate everything all the time. It's like, me, me, me. No, no, I need no, some no. love and too. No, you know? that is not <laughs> true. Well, explain That's yourself, Jennifer. True. Go ahead. What's the problem? No, he picks the worst times to get close to me. We'll be watching a movie, and it'll be, you know, we'll start bickering about something, and then he wants to cut on the couch. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, get away. <laughs> That time, and that's what he remembers. So yeah. now, Jennifer, if there was one thing about Robbie's future that bothers you the most, what would that be? <laughs> Robbie is a really big gambler at the racetrack. Yeah. He blows all of his money at the racetrack. I mean, I don't even know I was gonna come most up with rent it, for this yeah. month. But. Robbie, that's a little scary there if you're doing no, that. He bets on everything. He even bet on how long it would take us to get to the studio. I mean, uh, everything is a bet. I like, everything life, is I like a bet. life to be exciting, you know? I like everything to have action. That oh, doesn't yeah. make you me know, feel yeah, very you know. good about, you know. <laughs> now, Robbie, what about the fact that she's a really graceful figure skater? What's that like dating someone like that? Well, it's like dating a guy. <laughs> Like a guy? I know she actually does, but she usually wears like you know she says dude. I mean she's a, she's like a tomboy. I she wears band oh shoes. She skateboards. She surfs. I'm active. Is that bad? Is that bad I that mean, I'm active? She's uh, so, hey, hey, does he treat you like a woman though? When it <laughs> no, comes to the no, no, not at all. No, maybe if that would help. He treats me like, uh, like I'm homely kind of. I mean he's a sexist <laughs> pig. That's just all there is. Like homely. He does. No, it's true. I mean. He, he thinks that because I like to do all these things that they're wrong and they're not feminine or something. Oh, I can't skateboard. I can't go snowboard or anything because that's not what girls do, you know? And he, because he doesn't think those things are feminine, he doesn't treat me like a lady. Say, not a good move, Robbie. Maybe well, she's you're... wearing van shoes and wearing jeans. I don't I'm know. Comfortable. She's comfortable. That's the style. I'm that's all. So, Jennifer, what are you hoping to I'm discover? Uh, what are you hoping to discover by coming here on the show today? Um. Well, I want to know if, you know, what I have is worth holding on to, you know? I want to know if there's, I don't have very much time and in my life, and I don't have time to go out and find out what, what there is out there that I'm looking for. And if there is something out there that maybe I'll like better than, you know, great, but I don't know. And we'll I, see what happens. And yeah. Robbie, what do you think this might do for the relationship? Um, well, I, I would just like to go out with a girl that maybe that's a little more affectionate, a little more passionate, and just, you know, I'm a more physical person. You know I am, I, mean? I am. I need a lot of affection. So I mean, you were no, hoping you to connect. No, you want a slave. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope nothing that bad, please. All right, next, hang on, because we're going to find out what made Jennifer's date want to strip naked. That's next. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now, Jennifer, 
Rapper says that Robbie's a cradle robin sexist pig who blows all his money betting on horses. So we sent her out on a high stakes date with a guy who's an odds on favorite to treat the women that he likes like a lady. Please welcome John Crush. Hey John, good to see you. You know Jennifer? Jennifer, when you first talked to John on the telephone, did you find out that he you had more in common with him or with Robbie? Oh, I had more in common actually with John. We have a lot of the same hobbies, a lot of the same interests. Um, both of us are interested in motorcycles and classic cars, and we both like to surf, snowboard. We have a lot of things in common. Huh? So yeah, you were clicking along with a lot in common. Now, how is he similar though in any ways to Robbie? Um, he was 40 minutes late. And oh. <laughs> John, you, actually, he lives 60 kind of miles late, away. Late, though. Any, 60 miles no, away. No, no, no. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm used not, to. I'm, I'm kind of used to that from Robbie, and I thought, okay, this better be good because he's 40 <laughs> minutes late. And so, Jennifer, was he good after he showed up? Yeah, he was. He was great. He brought a dozen roses for me. Good score points. Very, not just because I was late. Not just because I was late. I just did it. He on looked my own. like a Malibu Ken doll. I mean. <laughs> You should get a Barbie and then have pretend sex like you do it here. Barbie right here. Barbie right here. All right, John, what about you? When you opened the door and there was Jennifer, what'd you think? Total knockout. I mean, look at her. She reminded me of a young Natalie Wood. She's hot. See, he doesn't even know who Natalie Wood is. Wait, he had no idea? No. Yeah, she's too old. Um, <laughs> so, Jennifer, did you know that John was impressed, actually, or did he play it cool? No, no. I knew he was right. He was impressed right away. Right off the bat, he gave me just an over-the-top compliment, and I'm not used to that from Robbie. His friends compliment me more. Also. No, your friends I, give me I, I more do. compliments than you do. Oh. Just I today. Get, I get all, if, today, you know, I just, I just no, said you look great. when I get all done up, you, you just look, <laughs> are you ready to go? Best I've ever seen you look in a long time. Come on. <laughs> Now, John, we heard John. We heard Robbie complaining earlier that she's kind of tomboyish because she skates and all those things. Does she look like a tomboy to you? She, he must be smoking crap. <laughs> <laughs> she is dressed to the hill, leopard print, fuzzy pants, high heels, string top. Wow, just yeah, but that's, sexy. That's just for the date. I mean, you know, uh, I don't care what it's for. <laughs> she was hot. Now, Jennifer, you said Robbie doesn't treat you like a lady. How is John different on the no. date? John was so well mannered, and that's really big for me. I mean, he did everything I was and I'm raised not well to look mannered? for. What the? He was raised. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, exactly. He opened the car door for me. He opened the doors. He brought, you know, oh, I, like that's I said, right. he brought roses. He pulled out my chair at the restaurant, which I was so surprised I almost fell on the floor because <laughs> I wasn't used to my chair being pulled out for me or anything. Now, John, you know, it very, sounds like very, you're doing you're doing every, everything right. So, what was the vibe like when you guys sat down to have dinner? I was really flirtatious. We had a lot of eye contact. She was touching my hand. We were, we were laughing a lot, and she was looking she at me with like touching? this uh, innocent wow. seduction look. Like it was really funny. <laughs> you nice. could sense it, huh? You could see that look. I could feel it a little bit, yeah. So, Jennifer, after dinner, what about romance then? What happened? Oh, we went to the motocross event. And, um, <laughs> Very romantic place to it, hang well, out. It is to, me, it is to me because, you know, motocross doesn't, I mean, a romantic place doesn't always have to be mushy in my mind. Mm -hmm. It can be, I mean, romance is a place that you go together to have fun, to be close, to be relaxed, to be yourself. That's what romance is all about. And to me, that, I mean, I had an awesome time at motocross, and so did he. Well, so. well I was say, John, is that also a romantic place for you? Completely, completely. There's like 5,000 other girls there, all dressed to the hill, trying to pick up, and she was by far the hottest one. Oh. That's a compliment. 5,000. Now, John, Robbie says that she's not real sexual. You spent some time with her. What's your spin? I don't think Robbie brings out the beast in her. Uh -huh. <laughs> Because, I mean, she dances I in a sex fetish club, her. right? <laughs> Wait, and she dances what? She dances in a sex fetish club. Which I, I'm sure it, I'm sure it's very tasteful. I'm sure it's very tasteful, right? It's not. But very weird. She does do that, but yeah. And, and Robbie, have you been uh, the recipient of any of this erotic dancing? No. No, no. not at all. Yeah, but she works on it. He doesn't want to go. Like he doesn't care. Club. It's weird. He doesn't care. <laughs> it's, weird. <laughs> it's weird. But for anybody to be able to move like that, I mean, you have to have it in. You have to be sensual. You have to be sensual. She's a good dancer, but. And now, that should carry over. But it doesn't carry over for some reason. It does. It's just you don't know when. <laughs> now, Jennifer, uh, well, not the good pushing thing the right button. Now, wait a minute. The good thing is that John finds a little bit of that exhibitionism in you a good thing. What about a little voyeurism? Oh, well, 
I see. I don't blame guys when you know they go to strip clubs because I went to a male strip club and I had a blast. I was doing it ear to ear. When did you go to a male strip club? Ago, you know. <laughs> Try to keep up, Robbie, will you? I mean, that is you know the male oh, form at its best, you know. And I had a lot of fun. My friends and I had a great time. I don't blame guys for going. Now, Jennifer, would you say John's as sexist as you claim Robbie is? No, 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 not even. Robbie is way more sexist than John is. I mean, John told me about how his mom is an international pilot. You know, he's he's been raised under an environment where his mom is is very you know in a strong career. And I think he would be more supportive of my career rather than Robbie. Robbie mm -hmm. just wants, you know, I a totally little passive like, That's one thing I like no, about you. No, 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 no. You're going to be a doctor. That's no, like no. The, he the, says this now, but he you. doesn't. He wants a girl who just he stays wants, at home. She's not buying it, Robbie. Yes, <laughs> he wants a submissive He wants the, he wants the yes sir, no sir kind of, oh, I don't have she a brain. She could be a doctor in a house. Well, <laughs> wait, let me go back to John here for a second because it sounds like she's she obviously felt very highly about you. What about some mushy stuff sort of towards the end of the date? Well, you know, I wasn't really getting the total kiss me vibe. I really wanted to kiss not. her at the, end of, at the end of the day, but you no. know, I wasn't getting the vibe, so I gave her a nice long hug and said goodnight. Yeah. Now, Jennifer, did Very he read? Tasteful. Wait, wait, did he read you wrong at the end of the date, or was that exactly the vibe you were giving out? No, he didn't read me wrong at all. I mean, that's just not, you know, what I do on a first date. She's a good girl. Yeah. Totally. And yeah, and I mean, I wouldn't even kiss Brad Pitt on a first date. I mean, it's a first date. I don't do anything on a first date. All right, we're going to go to break. Robbie, you're Robbie. A a <laughs> <laughs> Robbie. Listen, we're going to go to a break. One last thing, though, Robbie. You're a betting man. Is she going to have a change so of heart or not? How would so you bet? I would bet that she's going to stay. Okay, there's the bet. <laughs> up next, though, we're going to learn why Robbie's date woke up in his pajamas. What's that about? Stay tuned. heard what happened on Jennifer's date with John. Now we're going to meet Robbie's date. Robbie says dating Jennifer is like dating a dude, but when she goes into the bedroom, it's like dating a prude. So we hooked them up with a really sexy psychology student who was totally psyched for their date. Please welcome Julie Klein. <laughs> Now, Jennifer, you've known Robbie for a long time. Does Julie look like his type? Um, she looks, you know, 18, 19, way too old for him. <laughs> way too old? Come on. <laughs> now, Julie, she did mention the age thing, and Robbie is a little older than you. Was that an issue for you on the date? Oh, not at all. I tend to date older guys. Uh, Robbie doesn't look really too old to me, and he's really young at heart. <laughs> I'm so. sure Robbie's glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julie, tell us about the date. What did what, what the old guy have planned here for you? <laughs> Actually, um, we talked on the phone about several things, but... Uh, he told me he loves to bet it at the horse races. <laughs> right, we've so, heard about and, that. Uh, I was totally stoked for that. I was like, yeah, I've never been there. It sounds like a blast. So oh, that's what boy. we ended up doing. doing. So off to the track you went. <laughs> yeah, we did. Now, Robbie, you said that Jennifer's a bit of a tomboy. We heard you complain about that. What about Julie when you met her? How'd she look? Uh, she looked really good. I mean, she's got the total playboy body, real womanly. <laughs> Um, it's real sexy. I mean, look at her. She's really, I mean, the body's really cool. Uh, she's got a lot more up here than uh, Jennifer does. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, Julie, uh, Robbie was obviously pleased with what he saw when you showed up. What about you when you saw him for the first time? Oh, it totally was. Robbie's very good looking. Um, I have a huge crust on um, Vincent Young from 90210, and I think uh, he looks a little, a lot like him. A little so. similarity there? Yeah, so I was totally stoked. Mm -hmm. So, Julie, did you guys head right for the track right off the bat? No, actually, we decided to grab a little lunch. We took a nice long walk on the pier, and we ended up sharing the love for ice cream, so we split a little ice cream shake. <laughs> now, Robbie, you're hanging out having lunch with Julie. Now, how's that different than if you'd be dining with Jennifer? Well, Jennifer is a pain in the butt. I mean, she's <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you mean? <laughs> she's a real picky eater. She doesn't like spicy food, doesn't like meat. She's a vegetarian. She always modifies everything. <laughs> Me and, the, uh, me and Julie were totally lo love the same food. We were like feeding each other. We like both love <laughs> ice cream. It was our favorite food. We shared a shake. And, so uh, she's just a chow hound and was the, going for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. good. Uh, Julie, it sounds like Lady Luck was with you so far on the date. What about when you got to the track? Did you make some bets? Oh yeah, we made a lot of bets. And uh, ironic enough, we bet. got there oh, and there was a horse God. called Flirtatious Girl from mm. Indiana. 
And um, I'm from Indiana, and I'm totally a flirty girl, so we're like, it's gotta be a sign, definitely. So Rob, it seems like gambler's logic, if that's the way it's laid out for you, how did flirtatious girl do in the race? Well, actually, I thought it was a good omen, too, and the horse was winning the whole way around the track, and I was like, yeah, we got it. And the thing was winning, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, some horse just nailed us right on the wire. Oh, like, so gotcha. It was just closed, like, way course. before. It just Super came out of nowhere. Sounds typical. See, that's how he, that's that's how how he screaming. Screaming. We're screaming. like, you know, she banging into it. Over. So, Robbie, you oh, spent yeah, the, the first couple you, losses. You spent the day at the track. How'd that affect your wallet? Uh, well, I went with a, you know, a few hundred bucks, and... Um, and then afterwards, we went to the sushi bar, and I realized I only had Couldn't eight bucks it. left. <laughs> I didn't realize. No, I no, Jennifer's just the Robbie you know. He starts out with a couple hundred, then he can't even buy lunch or dinner. <laughs> oh well, um, actually, he usually doesn't have very much at all, and we don't go out. Um, I we do usually win. spend some I win time plenty, at his trust place. Me. <laughs> now, Julie, what about you? No cash. There was a crunch. Did that kill the date? Oh, not at all. We were laughing, holding hands, having like a blast. We didn't even notice. And thank you, Jen, for letting me borrow him for the night. It was almost like he was my now, Julie, when well, you were wait, hanging wait, out... you have a driver's license, you're too old for him. <laughs> <laughs> now, Julie, when you were hanging out with Robbie, did Jennifer's name come up? Did you, did you guys talk about her? Actually, yeah, yeah she did. Uh, in the middle of dinner, we were like having a great time, like I said, and uh, he mentioned she was quite boring. A lot of the time. What? So, what? I don't know. <laughs> well, Robbie, you guys are doing pretty good on the date. Any complaints, though? Anything that was a problem? Um, there's only one that she said she wanted to get a tattoo, and um, I'm not really a t into tattoos too much. I mean, everybody's got them. It's pretty trendy, I think. So, I mean, it's not very womanly and sexually. I don't, I don't so that would that not. would bother you a little bit. So yeah. at, at that point, Julie, does his interest wane at all, or does he stay focused on you? No, um, he seems to stay focused. We went back to his house, and uh, <laughs> that's where all the dates happen. We were cuddling a little bit, and uh, he was started kissing, and oh. yeah. no, it was. Nothing like that. He was a good boy. <laughs> Nothing like that. You guys were making out. Robbie, she a good kisser? Yeah, she kisses great. I mean, she got real soft, yeah. gentle lips. Yeah. <laughs> and Robbie, compared to Jennifer's lips? Uh, uh, I would. Uh, I'd have to say she's a better kisser. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, so Robbie, when all the kissing ended, did you guys say goodbye then? Uh, um, uh, I, uh, it was getting really late, and um, uh, she was getting tired. It was pretty late, so I offered her just some shorts and a T-shirt, and um, she just crawl, crawled in the bed. What? What? But nothing happened. You nothing told happened. You to stay the night. Cradle robber. I didn't. <laughs> Wait, Jennifer, hold on. But, but Julie, I'm almost afraid to ask. But I mean, you know, you crawled no, in. we were cuss kissing a little bit, and we cuddled in a your lot, bed. And uh, oh. it just, he was no. It was nice. It wasn't anything X-rated. He was oh, real I'm respectful sure it wasn't really and nice. everything. Okay, well, we'll I take your word for it now. Oh Wait, we got one more bet to place, and that's on the future of Jennifer and Robbie's romance. We'll get the results when we come back. Stay tuned. <laughs> romance that's friendship based now she says she's too busy to find out if sparks would fly if she dated another guy and he says if these dates don't bring some passion into their relationship nothing will so let's see what happened jennifer we're going to start with you and get your decision first you said obviously you're worried about the problems in your relationship mm -hmm. so we sent you out with john and he was a total gentleman treated you the way you wanted to be treated you guys had a really good time what's your decision um, I love the way John treated me. Absolute full respect. I hope Robbie can take notes, and that's why um, I'd like to work on it and I'd like to stay together. Stay together. Okay, John. Sorry things didn't work out for you. There's Jennifer's decision. Robbie, we got to get yours. She wants to stay with you, obviously. Now, it's been eight months together, which is a lot of time to invest in the relationship. We sent you out with Julie. You guys went uh, betting to the track. You guys hung out. She ended up actually spending the night, as innocent as it was, you say. Uh, what is your decision, Robbie? Well, um, Jennifer is a really sweet girl, and uh, but uh, I think I really got the affection that I think I need with Julie, so I'm going to have a change of heart. Yeah! She says it does, and now, by coming on the show, obviously you saw some bigger differences. But Jennifer, you're smart, you're beautiful. I tell you what, there'd be some guy that would want to ride your skateboard anytime. Trust me on that one. That's our show for today. Thanks to Jennifer and John, and good luck to Julie and Robbie. We'll see you next time right here on Change of Heart.